It's the metric mile distance that the athletes will contest. It's a huge field of 16, and they're going to have to sort themselves out. Looks like Caitlin Simpson's moving her way towards the front. Georgia Wassel not too far away. Of course, what an outstanding year she had last year over two laps. A bronze medal, the World Junior Championships, and a medalist in the Australian Open titles as well. We mentioned earlier that we'd also have in the field Brittany McGowan, the Commonwealth Games representative of over 800 metres. Victoria Mitchell, of course, an Olympian in the steeple, is contesting the event. She's well placed in that bunch. They're just settling down. It is very much a championship style race, Tamsin. They're closely locked in together. This is going to be really tactical and it's a bit nerve wracking when you're watching a big field that has slowed it down like this because this is the way where there's potential for danger of falls and elbows being flown left, right and centre. So the girls are going to have to be careful that they don't get themselves boxed in and that they, um, they use their body to make sure that they don't fall. Looks like Georgia Wassell wanting to get a better position. She had to go full wide around the bend just to work her way back up towards the front of the field. Paige Graham leading through the early stages, the South Australian. In behind her, Caitlin Simpson. Brittany McGowan's in the pack there. Hasn't got clean space at the moment. Wassell's worked her way around the outside. But that's where we'll leave them for the moment. So two laps to go on the 1500 metres at this stage. Still Paige Graham at the front. Brittany McGowan well placed there in fourth at the moment. Young Corinne Demio of the Geelong Club here in Victoria. Just sitting in third place. Caitlin Simpson's been on the present near the front. Georgia Wassell in the blue top pink shorts working her way around the outside. But, but Tamsin, Georgia's actually had to run a little bit longer than everyone else because she's been three wide most of the way. It's probably a bit smart at the, this time of the season with such a big field. It's not going to affect them off a slow pace to be wide. You just want to stay out of trouble. So I think George has done a smart thing to be wide so that she can move when the, when the race actually gets going, which is starting to pick up pace here with Brittany hitting the front. Um, as I said, it's early season, so the girls are probably in heavy winter training, especially the girls who went overseas this year to compete at Commonwealth and World Juniors. So it's just an early season hit out, so they'll be foxing with each other to see what sort of shape they're in at the moment. Speaking of juniors, Amy Harding Deleuze has made her way to the front. Now she had a really enthralling battle across to the All Schools with her twin sister Lily. Only five one thousandths of a second actually separated them. Her sister's not here tonight. She's in second place. Brittany McGowan's in the lead and it's one lap to go. Tamsin's so really starting to pick up the pace here and I think it's Brittany that's going to lead the charge. Yeah, Brittany's looking great. Obviously Brittany went into last season thinking she was a pure 1500 metre runner and she she found out that she had great 800 metre turnover speed, so she moved back down to the eights for the Commonwealth Games. But she's showing here that she really is a great 1500 runner and she's looking really strong down that back straight. So it's Caitlin Simpson that's gone with her, Brittany McGowan at the front trying to chase them down. It looks like one of the other Victorian athletes there, potentially Amanda Paulin, but at the front end of the field, so it's McGowan and Simpson going head to head. Gap back there to that next group on the track, which includes Wassel and the Victorian in Demio. But at the top of the turn, Brittany McGowan will lead them in the Commonwealth Games, represented over 800 metres. The national 800 metre champion, Caitlin Simpson's right there, but storming down the outside. Trishel Kingdom. Trishel Kingdom really started to get a run on. Up into second place, moving up towards Brittany McGowan, but McGowan's going to be too strong. And it's great to see Trishel Kingdom back running strongly. She's in the second place. Simpson rounds out the top three. Back to Vic Mitchell in fourth. And Demio, the young Victorian, in fifth. Great run there by Trishel Kingdom. She'd been way back, but, but found a lot of speed, Tamsin. It's really good to see Trishel back racing. She um, was obviously a very talented junior winning open national medals at um, the 800. So she looks fit. She's, she's hung in there. So it was a great run. And Brittany McGowan, of course, has taken out the race. Been a great way for her to start her domestic season, really building on a, a breakout year for her in 2014.